Hey everybody and welcome to a new custom figure review. We're looking live at the GCW Money in the Bank Arena. Really happy how that turned out. Look at that Money in the Bank setup. Pretty, pretty nice. Uh, I'm probably going to cover that in the next WWE figure vlog, so stay tuned for that. Maybe it's already out because the custom figure reviews always come out a little bit delayed. But like always, obviously, we're going to have a bunch of customs in this batch. And it's a very, very nice batch here right again. I'm going to save a really incredible set of Hardy Boys for last, but the other customs in this batch are pretty great too. So let's take a look at everything, starting off with a figure from my personal collection. Uh, it's a Wrestle Kingdom 11 Kenny Omega, and I had that for a while, but I did get the torso changed because this head scan set a little high on that Kofi Kingston torso I used. So uh, I got a new torso which works also very well for Kenny and I just love that head scan for Kenny. I think it's the perfect head scan. This is as close as you're going to get to Kenny Omega. A Wrestle Kingdom 11 attire, really nice. Going to be using that for GCW Money in the Bank obviously. Cannot wait for that. Should be a lot of fun. Um, elite logo here on the back. But yeah, this is the uh, Wrestle Kingdom 11 Kenny Omega. And another figure I got for my collection, we had this figure in the last batch as well, but I got one done for myself as well. We have Austin Aries, which is based on Extreme Rules. Now he already left WWE again, so I kind of got my Austin Aries figure when he left WWE, which sucks, but I still wanted to have an Austin Aries Elite anyways. Not going to get the NXT one. I really prefer this uh, Extreme Rules attire here. Uh, got the Aries on the back. Really, really cool Austin Aries. Glad to have this one in my collection now as well. And now we're going to go into the customs that are going to be for sale on the eBay page. And as always, we got to have a modern day Maharaja. We have Jinder Mahal. This is again the Backlash attire now. Uh, we wanted to have a Money in the Bank attire, but that will probably be in the next batch. I think so. Uh, yeah, this is a new torso. This is a bigger torso uh, because he's getting bigger still. So uh, this works pretty well as well. Uh, got the green attire from Backlash. This is like the same attire that we had in the last eBay batch. And here you can see the logo, which looks really cool. Uh, ginger hat skin. Let's get that up close. Here's the ginger hat, molded hair and everything looks really really cool so uh, this gender is going to be available right now on the ebay page like i said a link in the description below also available on the ebay page what are we going to do next i think we gotta do a cody next and this is the ring of honor best in the world cody Rhodes. and now this is a regular cody hat skin we're going to have another one in this attire, which uh, will be really cool as well. But this is like a regular Cody head scan that we have here on this custom elite. It's from when he won the Ring of Honor World Championship from Christopher Daniels at best in the world, like I said. Um, really cool attire, the black and gold attire here for Cody. He also got these USA boots, which I really like. So that is really cool. Head scan is... Pretty alright, it's a Mattel head skin like I said. And from the back here, Cody, really, really a big fan of this Cody Rhodes figure. Looks pretty much fantastic. So yeah, this is going to be available on the eBay page. This is going to be the more cheaper version because obviously it's just using a, a Cody Rhodes head skin from Mattel. We're going to have a more elite version like last time of Cody available again as well. Uh, but let's take a look at the other Cody that we have here for my friend that ordered that. And this is pretty much the same figure, but it has this amazing uh, head scan. This is the Stardust head again repainted and the light is going to turn heel again on me. I don't know why it always does that. So here we have Cody with the uh, Stardust repainted head skin and I think those look so amazing. 
with the repainted Stardust head. Just perfect. Attire is pretty much the same as the other one. But I just love this head skin on Cody. It, it is so great. Like I said, best in the world, Cody. Attire is the same. This is not going to be on the eBay page because this already has a buyer, like I said. Then, are oh, we going to do another Cody right away? Uh, no, I don't think so. We're going to do Dolph Ziggler. We're going to do a new Dolph Ziggler next. And this is based on money in the bank. And I really love that attire. And as you guys know, I'm like really jealous again here because I really want this now. Dolph Ziggler, Money in the Bank 2017. Uh, the Zebra attire, really, really nice. I love that. Uh, got the Hollywood heel stuff on here. Public Enemy number one. I don't know if you can tell that, but that's what it says. Love this Dolph head scan. Really, really great for current Dolph. Uh, it's again a Dolph head scan with Braun Strowman hair and everything and molded on here a little bit. Really a lot of work goes into these Zigglers. Um, boots are redone as well, I think. So that is really awesome. Let's take a look at it here again from the back. Public Enemy DZ Crew. Oh man, I really would love to have this figure. But uh, avail going to be available on the eBay page, like I did say. So uh, that is going to be available. And actually, we will have two of these. Which makes it even harder. Now that we have two, I could keep one, but probably not. Uh, we have this Dolph Ziggler. It has a different head scan, and it is kind of like an experiment on the head scan. It's one of those Elite 24 Ziggler head scans. And it has like molded hair on it and it looks really cool like Ziggler's wet hair. I really like the look of it. This head skin got so much better with like the new uh, hair on it. So I think that works really well like kind of in his entrance like when he screams like I think that works pretty well. Attire like you can see they are identical. Nothing um, different between the two besides the head scan so i think both of these are going to be available on the ebay page so yeah that is pretty cool love both of these uh, i think this head scan i do prefer a little bit still because the original metal head just has like more likeness with Dolph. but this also works very well so it's like something different on a Dolph cycle let me know what you guys think about this head scan in the comment section below then we have more, we have more. As always, we gotta have an AJ Styles in here because people go crazy for the AJ Styles figure. So here we have another one. This is again, Money in the Bank attire, Madison Square Garden attire, like he wore that attire a lot. When he won the United States Championship from Kevin Owens at the house show, he wore that as well. And yeah. Pretty much the same we had a lot before, but people still request this attire a lot. So light got to be turning heel on me again. So yeah, here's AJ. I love that with the white P1 there on the side. And this is also pretty much the AJ I used for Backlash, but it had the black P1 on the side like he wore it first. But yeah, this is going to be on the eBay page. Also got elbow pad with the P1 on there. So that is pretty cool. Uh, check it out. Going to be available on the eBay page again without head skin. Because as of right now, it do just doesn't make sense for us to like order an AJ Styles head from the US just to ship it back to the US. So uh, most of you guys get us on that. But yeah, really cool AJ Styles. Also available on the eBay page right now. Uh, let's do this guy next. We got Chris Benoit and there will probably be some guy complaining again that we made a custom of him. But some people remember him as a wrestler. So and this is a really cool Chris Benoit. That's the WrestleMania 20 attire again like we had before. But this has like a bigger torso. I think that works very well for Chris Benoit. Might be a Kozlov torso or something. I don't even know. Uh, Jack's head scan got 
the designs here. Really cool Chris Benoit. Unfortunately, a figure that Mattel will never make. But, you know, he, he had some really memorable WWE moments uh, despite what he has done uh, in his life. So, really cool Chris Benoit going to be available for those that like to add one to their collections. And now we will go into the final Cody, which is like, this is like incredible too. Really excited to show you guys that one. G1 special Cody from the match with Okada. This is going to be on the eBay page. This is like incredible. The USA attire sort of looks like it. That amazing Stardust repainted head scan again. And the boots, the USA boots, like all, on all these Cody's. Head scan, you can see, is like. This is just insane. The dream tattoo. Then here's the back. I just love this. From the match with Okada, which was pretty good at the G1 USA special. Cody Rhodes. Love the guy. Uh, glad that we have him a lot lately in the custom figure reviews. Uh, I gotta get one done for myself too, I said that in the last one. But there's some other stuff I'm getting done at the moment too, so I don't really want to order too much. But yeah, this is so cool. Cody Rhodes going to be available on the eBay page right now. And now we're getting into our final set of figures here. And like I promised you guys, it's going to be Hardy Boys. Um, I'm filming this while San Diego Comic Con is still going on. So we have one more day of reveals today, pretty much, when I'm filming this. When you're watching this, Comic Con is probably already long over. So uh, I don't know if we have seen Hardys or not. But here we have a new custom Hardy set in their green attires. And I marked out so hard when I saw that Matt Hardy. Jeff is really awesome, as always, as well. But Matt Hardy is just incredible. And I have no idea uh, how my friend made that so detailed. But I'm going to show you this up close right now. You can see like all the details on this figure. It's just insane. And I don't really know if you can tell with the lighting, but this is so detailed. It's crazy. At the side here, got, got the pockets. Okay, here we go. Got the pockets there, everything. Look how detailed this is. Look how detailed this Matt Hardy is. This is just incredible. I think head scan is always on point. Like these Matt Hardys we've been having here really are incredible. They are so great. I mean, I'm blown away by this Matt Hardy. All the detail in this is just crazy, like I said. I don't know what you guys think, but this is absolutely incredible to me. And Jeff, here we have Jeff. It's the green attire as well. It's kind of like their payback attire um, with the green things here. Um, Jeff Elite One head skin. This is actually, as uh, someone asked me before, this is like not that we, we cast these Hardy's head skins because casts are always like not really too reliable. So these are actually like Elite One prototype hats. So there you go. And yeah, got the arms here with the green. Really, really darn cool Jeff as well. This is going to... These two are going to be in, available on the eBay page. I don't know, they will not be a set. I think they will be separate, but I think somebody will get both of them to have the set. So really, really nice Elite Hardy Boys. Uh, I was so excited about these. Not even in my collection, but I just get excited to review these. And that pretty much wraps it up for today, guys. I hope you did enjoy this custom figure review again. Always really a lot of fun. To do these uh, reviews for you guys always getting so many cool new customs is really awesome so i uh, thank you guys for watching the video 
and uh, yeah like i said most of these are on the ebay page right now so check the link in the description below to get them uh yeah that's pretty much all thank you guys for watching and i see you all in the next one